Hey YouTube, it's Mark from Kingsland Sport Fishing, and today I'm going to do a video about how I set up my downrigger on the Kingsland Sport Fishing uh, Tierra Charter Boat. Uh, it's a bit of a different way, I think, to how most people set up their downriggers. Uh, it's something I've uh, kind of evolved over the years, taking some advice from one person and tweaking it uh, to be my own uh, method. But uh, anyways, uh, hope you like this video and I hope you find it useful. If you do like this video and you like my channel, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And click on that uh, the like button. It helps me a great deal as an amateur YouTube content producer. But uh, with that, let's get uh, started. I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to show you uh, how I set up the downrigger. So bear with me while I do that. So I'll go over how I put my, uh, my riggers together. I'll start by saying I have Scotty 2116s, the high performance downriggers. I love these downriggers, super simple. Uh, I'm in Canada, Canadian made, really easy to get. Uh, you know, heavy duty motor. Um, they can pull some serious weight from a cannonball or weight perspective. Uh, I'll start there. In this particular case, I'm running a uh, Titan by Powell, uh, 18 pound uh, fish weight. And then what I've got is I've got the, uh, the cannon termination kit on the bottom. And you know what a lot of people do is they will run a release clip from here or from here uh, with a clip with a pinch pad clip. I'm not doing that. What you'll see is I've got a black slip, and the, the running the black slip here is not not new. It's not different. But what you'll see is my black slip moves up and down. So I've got a bead below, black slip, bead above, and what you'll notice here at the top, right where my finger is, I have a Scotty auto stop bead. And this black clip will ride up to that auto stop bead. And uh, a couple of things I'll say. Some folks will do this similar method, but what they'll do is they'll actually put a crimp here. And when you put a crimp there, my personal opinion, you weaken your downrigger cable. And I don't want to weaken my downrigger cable. I don't want to lose a weight. My other downrigger has got a fishhawk probe and a weight. I don't want to lose that. These Scotty auto stops, they do the trick and they're perfect. But why? Why do I want my release clip to slide up and down like this? Well, once I got the once I got the line in here, it's up here at the whole time. But in the event I get a small fish, what's going to happen is that fish is going to what I call swim swim the release clip. It's going to go move it up and down. And what you'll see is you will see your rod tip moving up and down, and that's where you know you've got a fish. And I find this method here works really really well to identify the fish. So. Hope, uh, hope this is a useful tip for you guys. Um, give it a try. It's pretty easy to, uh, to set up. Um, you don't have to run the cam cannon termination at the end. Um, I like these because there's no crimps required. Um, unfortunately, to do this, you do have to cut off your existing um, termination because you've got to slide a black clip on here. But uh, it's worked really well. I've been using this method now for about uh, three, four years uh, and, uh, and just love it. Um, I did. Uh, I started out using the uh, the crimp here, but uh, I found I was weakening my line, and over time it would start to fray. I moved over to the uh, the Scotty Auto Stop, or I think it's Sure Stop uh, here, and uh, had no issues at all. I've been doing that for two years. Anyways, good luck on the water.